Hi everyone, welcome to April's Crafting Addiction. Today I'm going to show you how to do the herringbone technique, so let's get started. I'm just going to start with a basic piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is just measured at three by four and a half. It's just something to show you. There's no particular rhyme or reason for this piece of cardstock, just to show you how to do the technique. I'm going to start with the Sizzix adhesive sheets. This is the permanent one. Um, all you do is just peel this up. And I'm going to lay this on there, like so. Um, you can also use a Xyron machine, or you can go ahead and use your snail adhesive. Um, you just want the whole front of what you're doing to be covered, because you don't want to keep adhering the snail. Once you get started, you're going to be on a roll, basically. Okay? So now that's covered, I just use my bone fold to... to um, adhere it down to melt the card to melt the adhesive into the cardstock. So now, as you can tell, my cardstock's all sticky, and I'm just going to lay that to the side. Uh, the first thing you want to do is start with a. Um, you can use. I'm using about three, sh um, four different types of design. Um, two different designer papers. And I'm going to use two different pieces of cardstock. Now you can use anything you want, but that's what I'm using today. Okay, so my basic, my base to get started, you're going to want a piece of um, strip of cardstock measuring about three eighths to twelve inches uh, long by three inches, three eighths inch wide, but you can do it as wide or wide as you want it and as long as you want it. Just as long as it covers what you need. So I'm going to start with a basic trying uh, T. I'm going from corner to corner. I'm going to layer it off a little bit. I don't know if you can see that with my hand in the way. I'm sorry. So you're laying, her, laying it off a little bit and I'm just going corner to corner and I'm making a T. Okay, so there's my T. Now I'm going to use my next piece. You're going to use the same color, corner to corner, not corner to corner, corner to <laughs> this piece, um, the first piece you lay down, that's basically your guide. And I'm going to lay that flush as I can. with this corner. So now you're making another T. Like that. Okay. So now you got two triangles going on. I'm going to turn my cardstock. And then I'm going to come over with this corner. And it doesn't need to line up with this, the very first one. You just want it to line up with this. So wherever you want to place the next one as long as it goes to the corner here, you're good to go. Okay, so now you've got one, two, three, four triangles. You're going to turn it over, use your paper snips and cut this. You're going to trim it up. Give it a haircut. Now that my paper's got a haircut, I'm going to start building, excuse me, I'm sorry, building my design. I want to start with one triangle at a time. So, this is how I do it. I'm going to lay it flush, the first strip flush with my tees. Using the same designer paper, I'm going to do the opposite side. So again, I'm just making a T. And then I'm going to come in with my solid. You know what? I'm going to do it, change it up. Sorry. I'm going to put my other designer here. And another piece here. So as you can see, my first triangle is now covered. Okay, turn it over 
and give it a haircut. Okay. So now I want to do this design over on the next triangle. You don't have to. That's just what I do. So over here, I want to do the same design, same way. Paper seems to get in my way a lot. Okay, there's that. Come in here with this one. Whoops. Here's that one. And this one. Okay. So this piece is done. Well, that side is done. Give it a haircut. Okay. You're going to notice that you've got ends like this from where you've given it a haircut. All you do is take your paper snips and just cut it, cut it across. Cut it straight as you can, and that will give you your straight edge to line up. Okay, so now I've got two triangles left, and I want to do a different type of pattern. So I'm going to come in here with this designer paper, and again, I'm going to cut this as straight as I can, snip it off. Okay, now I want to come in with the yellow, or uh, excuse me, the summer star fruit, and lay that one down. Again, you want to get it flush as you can. Oops. So you can see why I want you to have it all covered with adhesive, your cardstock, because once you get started, you don't want to stop. Okay, and now I want to come in with this designer paper and do the same thing. Now, you see that little white spot? Okay, well, that little white spot is not what I want. So I'm just going to come in and do that. Make sure it's adhered down. So I'm just going to use my bone folder and kind of burnish it. You're going to turn this piece of cardstock over and you're going to give another haircut. Okay. So, as you see, we're rolling along. So we're going to do the same design again. Again, you don't have to. It's just what I do. Make it your own. I mean, there is no right or wrong way to do your patterns as long as they're flush with your T that you made, the first piece. And if you can't get it flush, well... I say put a put something there, stamp an image and cut a die cut out. <laughs> because um there are no mistakes in art. It's yours. Cause see I have that little piece of white and I'm gonna come in here and do my next teeth. Then I'm going to use my yellow, or excuse me, summer star fruit. Come in. Okay, and this piece.
And then I'm just going to use the one in my snips to cover that piece. So, no cardstock goes on waste the end. If you can't get it to stick, well, we just add snail. We add snail. <laughs> Cover it up. Okay. It's down there now. Okay. Now we're going to see it's so good being sticky that it sticked. Turn it over and give it a haircut. Okay. And that's what the hair and bone looks like when you're all done. And like I said, you can put a little image here. But I'm going to emboss this to show you what it looks like. Let me be right back. Okay, now that I'm back, I use the Ar Ar Argula embossing folder, and I just ran it through my Big Shot, and I gave it a new look. And I like the way this makes it, um, when I run it through your embossing folder, it makes it stick down, and that way it's permanent, and it kind of just makes a, an extra secure blanket, basically, for you. So that is the hair and bone technique. I hope you enjoyed it. I love to see your creation. So email me at april at aprilscraftingaddiction.com. Everything is one word. You can also find me on Facebook at April's Crafting Addiction. And, of course, on Twitter. And I would love to see your, your creations and um, the patterns y'all come up with. So please share them with me. Talk to you later. Oh, Facebook. Not Facebook. I'm sorry. My blog. Duh. It is April www.aprilscraftingaddiction.com. A day without crafting is a day wasted. Until next time, friends. Happy crafting.